To do profiling, what we're going to do is the first main thing is under concept seed settings and for diamond. I'm going to turn off automatically identify concepts. I untick that, okay, and save that. Now I'm going to run the second stage. What I didn't show you before is you can run stage by stage. And once you're an advanced user, you probably will want to do that. So I changed the setting here, and now I run the next stage to see its result. So I'm just running the second stage here, generate concept seeds. Um, mm -hmm. And, and as you, if you're, you know, you probably noticed that I just turned off that. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually show you here. Once that's finished, I go into the concept seeds dialog. This lets me see that now, under automatic concepts, there are nothing. There are no automatic concept seeds. Um, if you're curious, if I go back to the first project where we did use automatic concept uh, identification and look at concept seeds, they all appear here. So these are the beginning points for each of those concepts. Okay, so that's normal. But because we're doing profiling, I've turned off automatic identify concepts. And now under concept seeds, there's nothing here. And that's what I wanted to see. Um, now, well, but you can't work without any concepts at all. So it's now up to us to specify the focal point what, what topic do we actually want to profile? Um, some, some people kind of uh, um, hook on to the idea, the metaphor of um, astronomy, right? So a default Lex Amansa map, like the one you saw before, is like going outside on a dark night and looking at the starry sky. And you see all the, the main constellations, the most visible stars and constellations are there. Um, but, but now what I want to do is I want to take my telescope outside and point it, let's say, at the Southern Cross. And I want to zoom in on that part of the sky. Um, so this is what we're doing here with profiling. And we've turned off the automatic concept, so we're not going to get the whole sky view. But we want to, we want to point our telescope at a particular idea. So to do that, we go to user-defined concepts. Okay, I'm in this tab here called user-defined concepts in the concept seed editor and I press the add button. Now, all, essentially what I'm gonna do is not too different from going to Google and picking some, some keywords for my search. Here, I'm gonna pick, what, what's presenting me is the frequent words from the data and also the frequent names. And I'm gonna go and choose the ones that are, that are probably uh, front and center on the topic that I wanna research. So um, now, uh, I don't know, do, do you have a, a, a topic in mind for this uh, public health bill that you'd like to focus on? How about hotel quarantine? Okay, we'll, we'll see, see if there's frequent words around. I think quarantine should be here. Um, let's see if hotel is as well. Um, yes, there's hotel. Okay. And uh, let's go and find quarantine. There we go, there's quarantine. All right, that'll do. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be one thing. You could put in several topics here, particularly if, they're, if you think they're related and you'd like to test. So, in turn, so this is, really is hypothesis testing. What we're doing here is we're, we're telling Lexan, so, okay, I want you to research hotel and quarantine. I think they're going to be related, but show me, show me how much they are. And if I put some other uh, target words in here, it would research them as well, and it would show how much they're related or if they're not related at all. So it really is, as well as researching a topic, it does the hypothesis testing for you as well. So these are the focal points. So what I've done, now hit OK. So now in my user-defined concepts, I've seeded the concept of hotel and one of quarantine. They're my targets. That's what I want to point the telescope at. And, and that's really all I want in user-defined concepts. And I want auto concepts to be empty. Now, as an aside, not part of profiling, you if I have a look at auto tags, 
you know what? I turned on that tagging, that file tagging thing. So now it's given me a variable for every file name. And actually this, this will show me, um, I can get charts, I can get bar charts, which show me the number of utterances from each in each response. And I can also, it'll also show me the, the concepts that were important. I can click on a, a file tag and it'll show me the concepts that were important in each file. So you can, you can get nice analysis on submission by submission that way if you want. But that's separate from profiling. Uh, so here we're focusing on hotel quarantine. I'm going to hit OK. Right. So step that was step two. Step one, turn off automatic uh, identified concepts. Step two, specify your user defined concept seeds, just like giving some keywords in Google. Step three uh, is to turn on the actual the AI. Now, and this is the AI is going to take over and do a lot of the work here. Um, this will be in the checklist we can send you. So step three, we go into thesaurus learning, which is the machine learning settings. And here you can see profiling on the right. I just say, okay, number to discover of profiling concepts. Instead of being off, turn that up to a good number is usually around 50. So if you're in doubt, just set it to 50 and, and proceed, it'll be fine. So now I can, I can just finish. I can just go and hit generate results. So it, it's three steps. Um, and you know, if you have a checklist, it's not too hard to remember. Um, so now um, the map has finished. And hopefully if I did my job right, uh, I'm just gonna check something. Right, so so on our map, we should have quite a different map now. Right, so if you remember what, what it looked like before, the map looked like this. So this is a map of the whole terrain of the submissions. And there's lots of different ideas, lots of different top level ideas in there. Um, what we've got now is quite a different map where the We'll just we'll do what we did before. We'll go back to have a look at it, uh, look at the hierarchy. So quarantine is the main idea here now. And I can see over here, um, and this area here looks like pay, costs and pay. Um, so there's a narrative there, um, some fairly angry narrative there actually around forced and, forced and violation um, by the look of it. Uh, negative ascent. Um, individuals, training, healthcare, um, mandatory mm -hmm. strategy. Um, so what's happened here? And the thesaurus lets lets you see a bit more clearly what the machine learning, what the AI has done here. It's um, it's learnt. Um, it's developed a concept around the, co the concepts that I specified. Um, uh, and you can see what's happened here. So there's quarantine. You remember I, I, I told it, go and find me the, the idea of quarantine. And what it's developed here is a, is a concept dictionary here, which can you see it's brought in hotel anyway? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so we, we didn't need to put hotel in, but we didn't know that and that's fine. Um, it's not a problem. But it means the AI has found that hotel was very related to quarantine, and and so it's put it in there anyway, along with fees and waiver and uh, some other terms. Um, hotel has actually turned into quarantine. Hotel was so um, was so so much dominated. Uh, it's it's the idea of of hierarchy. Quarantine is a top level concept, and hotel has been subsumed into it. So um, really, it's one idea rather than two, because they're so closely related to each other, uh, which is fine, because we kind of expected that. Um, so this is what it's, this is what it's learned. And then that was in thesaurus, that was primary. And the secondary, I can see these are the 50 additional concepts that it's discovered related to quarantine. So it's like, it's like, um, it's like, well, as an analyst, if you're reading text about quarantine, 
you would you would get the idea that well they're also talking about um, fees and enforcement as a really strong issue and um, you know, imposition isolation is it mandatory um, is it you know, how's it related to the outbreaks so this is this is doing that um, learning of finding what was what are the important ideas related to quarantine and coming making them a like a secondary level in its in its um, semantic network, it's, it's knowledge base. And then it's coded your data with that. So you can now see that the data has been coded, not only with concepts for hotel and quarantine, but also uh, the related ideas. Um, and, and this has become a model. So now we've got, we've got a semantic model uh, centered around quarantine. And, uh, and this has also, um, Will, this will this, it will have influenced the topic guide um, in in the same way. So let's make sure I'm in the right project profile topic guide. Um, so now um, the topics are quite different. So hotel costs. Um, um, is that what you? Um, um, yeah. There's a topic here. Fresh air. Fresh air. Fresh air. Mm. Right. Um, room and waiver. Pay yeah. yeah. Um, so you've got a whole reading list now around this this profile, um, and you can you can get this sort of view. So if you get if you get like thousand submissions, and you get a question, you want some in depth research around any question. You can you can fairly quickly create one of these like in ten minutes, uh, and and use it as a as a, a reading list. 